So hello, everybody. So today I will introduce you about our project uh, shared between um, the, the, the academic partners shown in these slides. Uh, a, a big bunch of the, the authors are, are in the room. So if you want to ask questions afterwards, they will be able to answer. What is the state? Um, so since you may know, as since 2015, the UGC has initiated the creation of a new category of standards called the OGC APIs based on the REST design, sharing the Open, SP, uh, open APIs uh, specification. They uh, serve various encodings such as HTML, JSON, and so on. The intent behind that is try to um, make the OGC services more webby, so more aligned to the web community. And all of its standards share a common and, and endpoint such as the landing page, the conformance declaration, it means that that's the cover of the, um, of the specification. As uh, explained uh, first, like the open API uh, specification, the collections, and the items of these collections. The, um, the initial question was, like, how could we um, introduce uh, the, this new category of standards to uh, national administration? Uh, that's a project carried out uh, between two, uh, three academic part partners, the HEIG VD, the SUPSI, and the UNIGIR. Uh, they are all um, academic uh, partners of Switzerland, and they share like common interest into three categories of data and OGC standards. I mean, the sensor data for the SUPSI, the vector data and portrayal for the HEIG VD, and Earth observation consideration for the uni uh, University of Geneva. On the sketch on the right, you, that's the kind of idealistic uh, SDI uh, as shown as uh, for the from the DOGC. You can see that the standard and interoperability share uh, a big um, component in that uh, or, or, uh, structure. What about the Swiss national context? Uh, you may know that there is there are like four languages in Switzerland. Uh, that that's a federal federalist the federalism system, it means there are like 20, 26 cantons and 2,248 uh, municipalities, and it involves uh, high requirements uh, in terms of data quality and durability. About the timeline of the Swiss national context and the national data infrastructures, it was first initiated in 2003 by the Swiss government, followed by the um, Geoinformation Act in 2008, uh, in which you can attach the ECH normalization. Uh, at, it stands for the um, profiles of application and web services. And it is going to be part of our work to consider this standard. And then in 2020, there, are, there was the Swiss geoinformation strategy and the, uh, the, the goal of um, producing an open data government to 2021. So what are the problem solving questions? We first wanted to, to, to understand and figure out how we could connect the OGC standardization process to the process running into Switzerland. We wanted to define the first initial requirements, uh, the, the standards you choose, and how to show things. It means how to, to be able to show the interaction with uh, these standards. So we try to kind of develop a kind of feedback loop process linking the international national uh, standardization process with the OGC process served by, by a geostandard platform. It means a place when, where you can, stay, uh, you can, you can try out the, the new uh, possibilities of the new APIs. Uh, first of the, um, of the scope was the re requirements uh, definition. So it was issued from um, a stakeholders meeting at the very beginning of the project. Then we try to identify the standards we're going to wo be working on and to share them between the three academic partners. And we also try to follow actively the OGC meetings and to define use case and evaluation criteria uh, between the former Slack like W cross S uh, OGC standards and the new emergent OGC APIs. And we try to provide all of them standards through a test bed platform as already spoken. Currently, um, through the OGC uh, pro, um, process, there are like four st standards uh, validated so far. 
I mean, the UDC API in its core component and the CRS components, the UDC API EDR for environmental data retrievement, and the UDC API processes um, in its core components. Many spe specifications are still under development. You can uh, check the link below if you want to, to know more about these uh, processes. We base then the UDC standard selection and the requirement analysis, uh, as has been spoken before. We try to take into account uh, the main uh, Switzerland initi initiative, the Swiss Geo portal, uh, the GeoCAD based on Geo Network, that's the metadata uh, dissemination services, and the geodinster.ch, uh, and it stands for the conference on contents on geo information, and you will basically allow you to um, distribute all of the cantonal data. Uh, speaking with the three groups of standards uh, for the sensor data, we wanted to focus on the OGC Sensor Things API, that was, that was, that was part of the SUPC uh, University, the vector data and portrayal, that's what, that was part of the um, HEGI uh, GVD, something like OGC API features, map, style, uh, symbology core modeling, and the ties. For the Earth observation data, uh, the University of Geneva focuses on the um, OTC API coverage, DGGS for discrete global grid systems, the environmental data retrieval, the processes and records. Then we wanted to, to know which software, software we, can, we can use to serve these standards. Uh, that was the, 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 the first idea like to, to use open source solutions, representative of the OSTO communities. It means like representative of the various um, programming um, specification. I mean like Python, Java, C++. And based on the conformance declaration, it means all of the specification of the OGC are served through the implementation. We favored the Docker environment to uh, establish a better way of portability and distribution. So based on that, we are up for five different software solutions. Uh, first, that's the implementation of OGC API uh, sensor things. The Geo server, which is covering a broad topic of OGC standards. LD proxy, which, which, has, which is mostly serving uh, OGC API features. PyGeo API, which is really active into the, geo, um, the OGC process and QGIS server and solution really uh, widely spread into Switzerland. On the um, sketch of the right, you can see a kind of matrix uh, depicting every um, standards uh, served through every implementation. That's kind of start of the art of the software implementation and that's still evolving a lot. You can, you can, you can status like there is difference in standard compliance. That's why we wanted to try to uh, cover a broad uh, selection of implementation. Then, based on that, we wanted to serve a kind of single entry point to favorize the, the dissemination and the access to this uh, information. It's uh, available at the link provided, and that's based and inspired um, from the GeoNova MODC te API testbed, which is a Dutch initiative which has been uh, implemented to serve the OGC um, code sprints and testbed and to favorize the access for web developers to this new generation and standard. Uh, this de development is fully counterized. It's Git based and uh, the documentation is included thanks to make the docs. And we expect it will bring a good visibility at the national level and maybe at the international as you can stand today. For well, little remember, it's like we, we opt for three categories of standards, sensor data, vector, earth observation. And for every one of these uh, groups, I will kind of explain you the background, the experimental cases, and the first elements to highlight. So the fall for the sensor data, it has been carried out by the subsea. And currently in Switzerland, there is not really official standard for the exchange of environmental observation. You get a few uh, initiatives as it is depicted below, uh, for instance, for the funds, like the Federal Office of the An Environment, serving its data through the uh, Geoportal, National Geoportal, 
allowing you to access um, water temperature data uh, into the related items and features. Directly linked to the uh, OGC API sensor thing, uh, it sends the SOS standard, which stands for like sensor observation services, which was first uh, released in 2012. But it involved like large effort for web interface to parse and to and handle external data. So starting from that, in 2015, a few uh, initiatives started to implement their own uh, standard. In response to that, the OGC started the, um, the, um, the development of uh, the Sensor Things, Things API, and that's currently speaking today. For the experimental cases, the choice have been made to, um, to use the Hydro Meteorological Monitoring Network, the consent of Chichino, based on, in the south of Switzerland. Um, that's the, um, the picture um, they picked below. That's the interface of Sensor Things uh, SOS. It has, been the, it has been developed actively by the SUPSI, that's Massimino uh, Canata and his team. Uh, it involved 40 years of time series data, 60 stations, and 140 sensors. It, it, uh, allows, it allows to, to record precipitation, air temperature, and humidity data, as well as water temperature and river head height. For the first element to um, highlight, so, so, far, so Sensor Things API is not actually part of the OGC API, uh, but is nevertheless based on a RISC-full design and share the common JSON encodings. And um, yeah, and it's an evolution of the conceptual model. Uh, no, in the evolution of the, con uh, the for the differences, the main differences in the conceptual model, model there is a slight uh, difference, since uh, the notions of data stream serving for the properties uh, recorded and things for the uh, IoT devices are pinned to the data model. Uh, we expect it's going to be uh, uh, of significant importance for the Switzerland context, since, as uh, has been told uh, before, there's like a few initiatives, uh, speaking of Meteo Suisse, the FERN, and so on, serving some type series data with their own custom standards. And we think that's going to be a good point like to properly uh, provide a real API to collect this, uh, this data through uh, the endpoints. Speaking from the, the vector parts, so the UGC WCOS S stored us um, as such as WFS, WMS, WMTS are really widely um, in use. It has been for more than 10 years. And there are reference uh, in, the, uh, in the document I was picking in the introduction, the ECH00056 standard. And for every one of these standards, they're like really uh, detailed specification and recommendation. And it's going to be the work of this project like to operate a far roof comparison uh, during the revision, since that's the, end in the, the final intent of, the, of this work. Um, and we'll have to really operate kind of benchmarking comparison and yeah, tariff comparison uh, through every one of these um, detailed specification. On the picture, picture on the right, you can see a kind of uh, comparison between the actual uh, uh, WS um, OGC uh, fashion standards and their equivalent in the OGC API of standards. For the ex experiment cases, we opt for two main scenarios, uh, the climate change served by the geoclimate solution, which is an open source uh, solution uh, de um, developed by the University of South Brittany. And it allows, it, it per, it allows you to, to compute some LCZ uh, indica indica indicators, a local climate zone, dealing with the urban heat island phenomenon. For the second choice of uh, use case scenario, uh, we use the, uh, the Swiss national geodata models and its related portrayal uh, representation, uh, served actually uh, like now uh, through uh, expert uh, spreadsheets. And we try like to uh, do the, the associated uh, CSS implementation, and that's the portrayal resulting you can show, you can see on the, on the right. 
for the first element to highlight for the OGC API features that's pretty that's widely validated, that's widely implemented through uh, through the all the solution we we have seen so far. So that's really ready to be uh, served through the new uh, the national uh, specification. For the for the OGC API tiles, the new incomes like uh, it allows you at the difference of WMTS to serve as well as vector and raster data. And you can access them to many encodings such as JPEG, PNG, GeoJSON, TopoJSON, and Mapbox vector style. Uh, you can specify some custom tile matrix, which is not the case with uh, Mapbox uh, no, uh, now, uh, which is quite famous and simple. Uh, but we, we think that's going to be in specification uh, rising uh, great interest in Switzerland. For the OTC API styles, uh, the styles are made available uh, through one or for most uh, style sheets. But it, it, it takes some trouble getting with that, since uh, only the, the more um, cell sheets you got, the more data model you got, and you can, it can result with different uh, way of portrayal. So that's the intent of uh, the OGC symbology conceptual model, which is not strictly part of the, this work, but it is closely related to OGCP styles, and it will uh, uh, allow to have an identical portrayal through one conceptual model and media encodings. For the Earth observation data, so the background is the Swiss Data Cube, that's a Swiss initiative uh, shared by the UN, the, um, the Swiss government, and the University of Geneva. It covers basically uh, 48 years of remote sensing uh, imagery uh, with uh, Landsat 5 to 9 and Sentinel 192. Uh, over national data sets such as the land cover and digital elevation model. So the first major outcome of this project has been the publishing of the entire content of the Swiss Data Cube through the uh, Stack uh, API collection. And yeah, the, the current state in Switzerland is that there is no mention in the of a remote sensing uh, images uh, through the standards served by the, the national standards. So it's going to be also our work to try to it to uh, this new uh, document. And just below, you got the, the QGIS interface of the stack browser of the uh, SDC uh, display. For the first element to uh, highlight, uh, the publication of uh, this larger data set was pretty, went pretty smoother and easier. Uh, according to stack, its, position, its positioning is not really clear to the OGC. Uh, is it an extension of the OGC API features? What is its link to the OGC API records? That's still stuff uh, which needs to be considered by the, the OGC. And it's, it is intent to, for Stack to probably join the, the OGC as a community standard. For the conclusions, so the OGC API is, is quite an important revolution compared to the existing uh, WS uh, standards. It offers a modular approach, like there is like this core component I will uh, have been showing you at the very beginning. They can operate uh, um, through themselves, and they are really important for Switzerland, which regard to the open government data and the ECH uh, specification process, and also with the, um, the situation in Switzerland depicted on the first slides. We think that the participation, participa participation and an active observation is really important towards the OGC um, specification process. And it is intended to, um, to formulate a staggered, staggered, staggered recommendation of upgrading of the national SDI, as well as uh, this document that has been sp speaking widely, the ECH uh, no, uh, standards. We hope to run these projects through successive iteration, that means been, uh, been able to catch up and follow the UGC API uh, specification process. And for the uh, acknowledgements, I would like to thank you, Swiss Topo and the KGK, that's the, um, the Swiss uh, Conference of Communes uh, uh, Contents uh, on Geoinformation. And don't hesitate to reach us. We are in the, in the room. And if you want to get through, through mails, uh, here it is. So thanks for your attention. <laughs>